Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Get out your water squirters. Today we are going to be playing with water resist. Stay tuned. We are going to be creating this really funky background that you see right here on the journaling tag. It's that little uh, darker shades of grey that are popping through. That's a water resist. Also in the title on the word number two, you can see the little bit of resist popping through and we did that so easy using a water squirter and some pigment ink. Let's get right started. Got your tag or any piece of uh, scrap cardstock. We're working with 130 pound white Canadian scrapbooker superstock. And the reason is, is uh, when you're working with water or any uh, large amounts of ink, you want it so that it doesn't warp when it gets wet. And this stuff works perfectly. So basically this is how easy it is. Just take your squirter and you spray your tag just like that. Let it dry slightly. Take your stylus, load it up with some pigment ink, and I'm just going to unload a bit so I can really control how much ink is going to get applied. Start it at the corner, and I'm going to slowly buff it on, and you can see the little water droplets popping through. Holy dolly, that's gorgeous. A little bit more, and I'm going to unload just to control the amount of ink. And there you have a gorgeous tag using water. The background of this layout was created using a Stamping Up Resist piece of pattern paper. I took a white foam tip stylus and some clear snap fluid chalk ink and just inked over top, buffed over top the words so that they, the white words would pop through, they would resist and pop through. The background piece back behind here, the blue, was also used that resist technique. I stylist over top with some blue fluid chalk ink and then I stamped using a Local King rubber stamp. This gorgeous collection of flowers that you see in the bottom left hand corner was created using a Heartfelt Creations stamp and the Coordinating Spellbinders dies. I colored them in using some Clear Snap smooch and it really makes them have that metallic-y sheen. I then embossed them with some clear embossing powder to make the black stand out of a bit. Those flower centers that you see, those are my favorite little the robin's nest dewdrops. The ruffle that you're seeing on the top of the layout was created using some Be Creative te tape and again that resist, water resist technique that we showed you and then I just ruffled it all together. The journaling box that you see at the bottom. Again, that water resist technique was used in the background. And then I stamped using an impression obsession journaling stamp. And I popped a few words up using Ranger Industries glossy accents. The letters for the word two are from Kaisercraft chipboard alphabet. And I just covered them with a piece of white superstock that again I used the water resist technique. This entire layout, all the dimensional things that you see popping up, was put together using scrapbook adhesives by 3L Foam Squares. The lovely Christy Riappel actually taught me how to use this tech or taught me this technique at CHA uh, this past January. 
What Christy did was she put a little twist on it. She used a stencil, sprayed the water over top of a stencil, pulled the stencil off, and then applied the ink. You can check that out in our spring 2012 issue of Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine. So be sure to pick up your copy today. Till next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.